Hey everyone! Alright, so in this tutorial we're gonna be drawing a pie chart using JavaScript. So as you know a pie chart is nothing but a circle and that's a beautiful circle. Please admire it. And what we have is these pies and they have an angle, right? Like that. And I'm just gonna make it look like an angle. So basically what you have is you have these data points that can come from like JSON and, or in an array what you do is you take those data points, convert them to an angle, and then you draw them. Now we'll be using a couple of things. The first thing is we'll be using the canvas tag uh, from HTML5 uh, well, to do our uh, drawing. And it comes with a function which is called arc. Now the arc function takes the x and y position, which is the center on. Then you have this radius, which is this radius right here and then you take the start angle and the end angle so basically your start angle then the end angle which defines one actual pi and then the direction are you going clockwise or counterclockwise so it could be true or false now uh, the start and the end angle mind you is in radians and what we need to do then is to we need to do a conversion because what happens is when we uh, our data points we calculate the angle that will be in degrees so we need to convert that to radians and I believe to convert to radians there's a formula which is pi over 180 uh, degrees there you go that's better so you take your pi divided by 180 times the degrees now so let's say you have your data points and my handwriting is better than a doctor shut up so you have these data points, let's say A, B, C, and so on, up to N minus 1. So what you need to do is you need to convert these to their corresponding angles, like these angles. So the way you do is basically you take your data point, right? So I'll say point, and I'll divide it by the total. The total is the sum of this pretty much, so basically the sum of all these data points and then you times it by the uh, angle 360 you times it by 360 degrees so what you're saying is how much is this data point taking uh, within this pi within the circle that's all you're doing so to do the total we'll be using a function uh, on the arrays it comes in JavaScript called reducer it's pretty powerful pretty amazing and then we'll be also using the map function to convert the angles You'll see these in action once I actually start coding. So I hope I confuse the heck out of you. And now what I'll do is I'll confuse you even more. I have is three files, an index.html, a script.js, which is pretty blank, and a style.css. So let's start with the style.css. All I have is just a background color for the body. And then I have some padding and text to the line center. No big deal. In my index.html, index um, I just have a title. I referenced my style sheet, I've referenced my script, and I've also referenced uh, jQuery because I'll be using jQuery just to make things easy. So once that's done, oh, and by the way, I'm using this uh, extension called Live Server, and it's pretty amazing. You write uh, your code here, and then as soon as you hit save, that will actually update your browser. So give it a try. Alright, so first things first, let's make sure that uh, JavaScript or jQuery, I guess, is uh, working the way you want it to work. So I'm sure everyone does that. You know, coding will be incomplete without hello world. Right? So I'd say, boom, hello world. So that means um, we're in business, baby. Alright, so let's assume these are our data points and as I said they could be in an array or you can have them more fancy like a JSON coming from a server so I'll start with these data points so the second thing is uh, I should have mentioned my apologies is we need to before you start doing any drawing we need to add the canvas tag I'll say canvas you must give it an ID we will call it uh, pi uh, we're just going to give it some width of 200 and I'll give it a height of what the heck 600 and then whatever text you put here that's going to be displayed if a browser doesn't support uh, canvas so 
uh, if it doesn't support then you can say too bad canvas is not supported no pie for you aha uh -huh. all right so that's that so now um let's hit my save my script all right so what we what i need to do is get a reference to that canvas um element so what i can do is i can say canvas is equal to using the power of jquery pi dot get zero so this is going to give me a reference to that guy i also need to get a reference to the context element so basically your canvas your canvas your canvas your canvas has a context element uh, that you use to do the actual drawing so you must obtain that before you do any kind of drawing i'll show you i'll show you guys how that works so why don't we uh, start doing that so so then i can say uh, you know what I'll do is I'll write a function to do the actual uh, drawing of the pi. So I'll say draw pi, and I'll just say console dot log draw pi, All right. and I'll just call it when the page loads. I'll say draw pi. So let's see if this works. This works. No errors. Boom. Done. Okay. So now we need to we need to get a context. That's what I said. So I can say canvas dot get context, get context. If I'm able to get a context, then you give it to me. Be nice. Get context, context, and basically we're saying we're gonna get the 2D context because we're doing 2D drawing. Yeah, that's nice. And if not, then we pretty much just say console dot log error getting context, context. You know what? Why don't we say error? Because so that's more uh, nice. So no error. I guess we were able to get the context. Woohoo! All right. So, so what we need to do first is sum up all of our data points. So, as I said, we're going to use the awesome, awesome reduce function. So I'll say total is equal to data points. Data points, buddy. Dot reduce. And then you gotta give it a callback function. The callback function takes two elements: your um, accumulator that accumulates the values and your current value. So basically, on each iteration, the current value will be added to the accumulator will be added back into the accumulator. And yeah, I'm confused now. So we have accumulator, we have our current value, and then we say, "Look at that! I want to fail this." All right. So I'll say accumulator plus current value. So that will give me um, my total. Uh, what am I doing with my life? That's what I'm doing. All right, so what I'll do is uh, I'll just spit this out just to make sure I get the total right. So I should be getting four if my math is correct. Console.log, I'll say total. So let's see if I got four, buddy. All right, so if what if I add two to it? I got five. All right. So that's good. That's good. So now the other things we need to do is the angles. Angles. So this will be an array. And these will be in degrees. So we must convert them to radians. Yeah. All right. So now to do that, I'll use the... Um, map function so I'll say um, angles angels uh, is equal to data points dot map we'll just do the map function and I'm gonna say for each point you run me this beautiful function now um, what function are we uh, running we're not doing any function basically we're just gonna calculate the angle so we're saying uh, this data point uh, divided by the total times it by 360 so we want to see how much uh, weight it's it has within a full circle right so I'm just gonna log it and ah my type bang. there so perfect as you can see each one has the same weight so they're just gonna take equal angle which is 90 degrees because 360 divided by 4 is not okay so yeah that is done. 
and what we need to do now is do the actual um, arcing. Arcing is not even a word. Well, we need to start drawing the, um, I guess, arcs. So, what we can do is we need a start angle and we need an end angle. So, we'll just say this one is start. So, it um, starts at zero, I guess. Now, the end angle will be the first data point. So, we can say um, to do to do to do angles zero. Now, there's a mistake. Can anyone notice it? No? Okay. Well, the, these angles, remember, are in degrees, so we need to convert them to radians. So why don't we write ourselves a nice util function, and we will say uh, degree to rad. rad. So we're just going to pass it degrees, deg. So what you do is first you say um, d is equal to 360 minus uh, degree, right? Uh, and then what you do is, if this is zero, I'll tell you why I'm doing this check. Then mat.py, I mean, you could just, yeah, 360. Or, uh, otherwise, not or, otherwise, you do mat.py, pi, where are you, uh, times uh, d. So, Let's say if your you, your data point is only one, so this would be just one point. So this would be 360. So 360 minus 360 will be zero, so that's what we're checking. So this will give us a full circle. So now, what we need to do is we need to say dig to man. Man, 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 my typing. There you go, that's what we need to do. All right, so then, um, now, here's the thing about uh, drawing on a context, con, con canvas. Right? If you want to draw on a canvas, uh, you need to begin a path. You need to end it. Otherwise, if you don't do that, then you know it will never end. I guess I never tried it. But anyway, so I'll say um, begin, begin, begin path, and we'll say uh, close path. Right? That's what you want to do. You want to end, begin, yeah. All right, so now we, know we, we need to give it a fill style. So our fill style, let's start with red. And uh, we're going to actually do the actual arc now. Right? That's what you guys have been waiting for. I'll say center it over 100, 100. Well, let's give it a radius of 100. Now here's the start angle. So I'm going to give it a start angle of that, end angle of that. I do want to go anti-clockwise, what the heck, yes, I want to go anti-clockwise, right? And then you also want to um, uh, fill it, uh, fill, right? And let's save it. Boom, you got a circle, man. Okay, let's do the next one and we might run into a problem that I'll explain if the problem happens, right? Actually, when a problem happens, uh, it's actually better to see it. I don't know what am I saying, but so now the next angle is actually going to start from where the previous left off, so it's going to be that, and then the one after will be you add uh, the start angle and then the next data point. And let's 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 color this yellow. Yellow. See how it just. Um, takes over the whole circle. So what we need to do is you need to do this uh, line two function. So it goes like this, line two, uh, that, and do 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 do. bow, bow, bow. Okay, we got an error. Maybe the function is not, yeah, line two is not a function. They're like, dummy, what are you trying to do, man? What are you trying to do, yo? How about this, you like that? All right, so now we're gonna just keep adding the other um, the other data points. So how is everyone doing in this Corona Corona quarantine time? I mean, I'm just drawing my arcs. We'll give this green. I guess we got one more because we got four data points. So this is the third. What the heck? Let's make it pink, right? So. Alright, so it's not working. What the hell is going on? 
why is this not working two degrees to radians aha look at our farm <laughs> what the yeah remember we said we the formula for um yeah boom fire in the hole so the formula for uh um no, don't do that so i guess we said was that uh radians is equal to mm, pi divided by 180 remember your formulas guys times uh, your degrees that's that's what we do oh the whole problem so there you go problem solved you got a beautiful pi now let's say uh, I'm just gonna change these I'll say you know this one takes twice this one takes four uh, this one takes four times boom so you got all these nice um, angles what if I just have uh, well I have four data points and I'm just doing them four so maybe as an exercise what you could do is take this all of this and put it into a separate function so you can just call it and that way you can have as big of an array as you want and then be drawn and what I'll do is I'll put a link to the source code in the description so you can actually go and play around with it and that'll be it for now over and out